This might not fit. Yeah, I wasn't thinking it would. Yeah. It's pretty fucking heavy. Yeah, I think I just ripped the plaster down. That'd be cool too. That's art, performance art. <laughs> It's hard to say why art's important for anyone else. I just know why it's important to me. And it's like sometimes trying to paint or draw or doodle or, you know, make something is like the best way to get my ideas out into the world. And sometimes getting those ideas out into the world are so that I can even understand them, not just to share them with other people, you know? Forty-three-year-old BMXer lives in a school bus and paints coffee cups because he couldn't think of anything better to do. <laughs> it's weird to take something that's like so individual and subjective and try to explain it in a way that makes sense to like anybody or everybody. There's always like some kind of energy in like the way I'm trying to do things these days. And I think it has a lot to do with the fact that I live in a school bus, you know, it's like, it's unconventional, it, it moves, it has a motor. The energy is alive for me in a school bus and it keeps me in motion and like, yeah, I don't think that was on purpose, but it's like intentional, if that makes sense. The less stuff I have cluttering my life, you know, the more control I have over the things that are like, you know, I want to be doing, you know, whether it's art or riding bikes or doing my first art show, you know. So I don't know if it's for sale because I didn't see a number by it, but in the uh, top right corner there, the one that says don't fuck it up with the coffee cup. That one someone already bought. Someone already bought that. Okay. Sorry. I, I was like, oh, all right, sweet. Like it was sitting there and I was like, like it, I made a piece of art to be a part of the ramp, but I wasn't making it to be art. I was just making it to be part of the ramp. And then I was afterwards we took the ramp apart and I was like, this is awesome. I'm just doodling and like, just kind of, it's almost like I'm thinking out loud, you know, drinking coffee and listening to music and hanging out. And my own little escapism from like the madness of today's world. You know, got all this discarded material and sort of tracing coffee cups on it and then cutting them out. And luckily Crescent helped me cut some of that stuff out because I would have cut my fingers off and they'd have been all crooked. And <laughs> because of chosen a different path of I'm also able to like narrow down like cut away a lot of the bullshit that would like smother the creativity and like inspired thoughts and like ideas it's like yeah I did wake up in the bus and it was 12 degrees this morning but on the flip side I get to go do the the shit that gets me stoked hang out with good people and like you know I'm not working in some kind of like oppressive environment that reduces my individuality and like you know takes away my spirit One thing that I didn't really expect or like take into account was like how many people I was able to bring together in one place in one time because of the art I was doing. The art became secondary. I mean, that's the community spirit right there. You're supporting your friends, you're seeing your friends, you're sharing time, you're doing something that like, you know, gets people stoked. It's the people that make it matter. That means all this is just stuff. And without like the people that like it brings together, then what's the point? You know, it doesn't matter, it don't mean shit. Been living in this school bus for a year and it's been super liberating and it's like opened up a whole new aspect of my creativity and how I spend my time. And I think that's one of the correlations between being a BMXer and being someone that does art, it's like, you know, you're never sitting still, you're always in motion. You've always like got some sort of energy that you're trying to put forth on some kind of project and it's all connected and it all means something to you on some level, you know, however like small or insignificant it is to the rest of the world, it's like, it all matters and it's all like connected and it all feels, feels good when you're in action, you know, like that velocity like keeps me from losing my mind. You know, dating back to like the late 80s, building our own jumps. It wasn't because we were trying to like make something. It was like we were trying to do something, you know. It's like, well, what are we going to do? It's like, let's build a jump right there. 
you know, here I am, 40 something years old in the woods doing the same thing. That's like how a lot of like facets of my life are, you know, it's always working on like what you're a part of, you know, fixing the jumps or like prepping, you know, something for an art project or, you know, making sure the bus is sound for like, the, you know, the winter coming through or, you know, that's my, that's my dream. That's my American dream. It's not like there's a handbook for any of this stuff and it's not like we have permission for any of it either, you know, it's like, you're kind of expected to do one thing in life and then if you get outside, the normal structure of society, you never know what's gonna happen, you know, like, literally anything is possible, you know, it's like sometimes it sucks, sometimes you fall, you crash, you get back up, you know, you learn the hard way how to do things and it's like, those lessons stick. You find something that just makes you happy and you spend your time doing something that you enjoy, that's it. That's what you do with your life. You're like, hey, I wanna fucking be happy and it's like, you apply that same sort of thinking. It's like, oh, I, I like doing art, so I'm gonna make art. While I'm making art, I'm stoked. And then I, I share it with people, just like with riding, you know, you, if you do something cool riding and your friends are there and they like encourage you and like give you some positive feedback, it makes you wanna try harder or do more of that, you know? It's like, same thing with art, you know? You do something that you enjoy doing and then you share it with people and you get some kind of positive feedback, then that gets you stoked to do more and like, if you're, spending your time doing the things that make you happy then like that's it and that's that's art and that's bmx it's like one of the most important things you know <laughs>